Driving, walking, and playing golf in February in Omaha. Record warmth and what appears to be an early spring. But not everyone is celebrating. Those with allergies are already sneezing, and there's no guarantee the warm-up will last. Reporter Megan Stewart joins us live outside. Megan. Hey guys, it is definitely a beautiful day to break a record. We reached 67 today on the 16th of February, which hasn't been done since 1981. And for better or worse, this weather has gotten a lot of people to head outside. Everywhere you look are signs of spring. Four-year-old Lucy Ricky and her brother spent this February day playing at the park instead of hiding from the colds indoors. And they weren't alone. I expected actually snow. Normally just stay inside or just let my five-year-old play around <laughs> while I sit inside and watch him. We've had some warm winters in the past, but yeah, this is really unusual for this time. Really all season, we've had that one really cold spell, but certainly for February, it's very mild. Action 3 News meteorologist Ryan McPike says it's usually high 30s to low teens this time of year. So Mother Nature kind of sends out this nice weather, and then the plants, you know, the flowers come up, the trees start to bud. But if you are thinking spring, Remember the allergies that come with it. Anytime you have a uh, warm up this early in the uh, spring, you're going to see increased amounts of tree pollens and patients will become more symptomatic. Dr. Brett Kettlehut says the inevitable spring tree pollen will stick around for a while, but make no mistake, it's still winter in Nebraska. We have the rest of the month. We can still get a hard freeze, not only in March, but really any time in April. And I've seen that before. The snow's coming. The snow's Winter's coming because it snow. If you are unlucky enough to be one of those allergy sufferers, Dr. Kettle Hutt says it does take over-the-counter allergy medicine about two to three days to kick in. Definitely something to keep in mind with these warmer days ahead. Reporting live in Omaha, Megan Stewart, KMTV Action 3 News. Well,